Hi, Jim Chapman, American Air Gun Hunter in South Africa, and uh, I came here to do quite a bit of hunting for different game, from small stuff up to the big game, and use a few different guns. But one of the things I was highly interested in coming out here was this puppy right here. I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen with this air bolt. I mean, this thing is doing about 500 feet per second, 425 grain arrow. But uh, the platform that I'm using to shoot these arrows is actually the one it was developed for, uh, and that is the, uh, the Air Venturi Dragon Claw. And the other is the smoothbore version, which is called the Wing Shot, which is their shotgun, which allows you to have a gun that shoots shotgun, shells, round ball, or air bolts. But I find the Dragon Claw gives me just a bit more accuracy than the wing shot. I'm going to be stretching out for longer shots, so I really want that. So we'll see how this uh, this gun performs. Uh, this one's been around for a long time. I've used it. Uh, geez, I took uh, took my first deer with this probably five years ago, six years ago. It's been around for uh, for a while, at least the the 45 version. And um, this uh, this gun is proven. I, I like a lot about it. I find it very ergonomic, fast to shoulder, easy to cycle. It's a great all-around gun. I enjoy it, and uh, we'll see what it does with these air bolts. I'm looking forward to it. Rob and I took off after a heard of these buck we'd spotted from the truck. For this hunt, I was again carrying the Air Venturi Dragon Claw and the air bolts. But for the first time on this hunt, I'd be using a mechanical broadhead. I thought under these dusty conditions, this arrowhead might be less affected by wind, since there was less surface area in flight. I was shooting from a standing position off sticks and I was locked in solidly. I took the shot and watched the arrow flying right to my point of aim. But halfway there the arrow did a weird flex and veered off, impacting high and to the left of my intended target. The animal bolted but was bleeding out fast. I've watched this video a hundred times and I'm still not sure what happened. Was it the wind? A damaged arrow? Did I hit some small branch? I don't know to this day. I just don't know. I'm glad that the animal dropped so fast, but it was one of those instances where we did everything right, yet things still went wrong. I shot many more air bolts with this mechanical head, but have not seen this anomaly pop up again. We uh, saw this herd of bleach buck as we were uh, driving down the road, and we got out. We drove, I guess, about 800 uh, yards past. Got out, dropped in the back way, used the wind. And the wind is blowing, if you can't hear it now, it's howling. Um, we, uh, we hiked in as close as we could get. We got uh, hung up in a, in a stand of trees. We couldn't get any closer. But we, uh, we got in there, we hung up. They were slowly feeding towards us, so we just sat. And I gotta tell you, standing there on shooting sticks, watching these things feed in, it feels like a really long time. But uh, we, I, I guess we were probably there about 15, 20 minutes waiting for them to feed in. Uh, at about uh, 50 yards, they, uh, they stood. PH I'm hunting with uh, Rob Dell told me to take this one. He was standing back over an anthill that we uh, we had range used the range finder. We had a range of about 48, 50 yards, uh, something like that. Yeah. It's it's reaching up to 80 kilometers an hour out here. Um, we took a lull, probably would drop down to about 50. I shot and I held right on. I shot a lot higher and the wind blew me off from where I wanted. Um, but uh, still it was a good shot. He ran about uh, oh, 40 yards and, and dropped. Um, taking a few animals with uh, the air bolt on this trip and this is really effective. We tried different heads. I'm using mechanical broadhead on this one. I've been using clover leaves uh, and, and tried some others. Uh, anyway, this uh, it was a great hunt. It was a, it was a good stock. It took us a while. We worked for it. We got them. Man, everything I've shot with it, these arrows blow right through. Um, it's, it's really amazing. Anyway, you can see the hunt um, and I'll tell you a little bit about the gun, more about the gun later. Again, I'm here at Hanslow Safaris in the Eastern Cape, South Africa. I've been hunting with these guys for 12 years now, 12, 13 years. Uh, we've taken more air gun game than anywhere else on the continent um, right here. They do a lot, of, uh, a lot of different hunts. They do firearms, they do muzzle loaders, they do bow hunting, they do handgun hunting uh, and air gun hunting. And if you're an air gunner and you want to come here, 
they're set for it. They got a compressor, the whole setup, they're ready to go. I think the, the thing that you really might want to think about doing is coming over with your favorite center fire rifle to do big game and bringing your air gun along for some small game or give the air bolt a try. Have more coming at you later.